In this video for week 15, we're going to discuss test instruments and the type of instruments we use in the HVAC refrigeration field. To start out with, the test instruments we use all the time to analyze, uh, we always, we fix things and we change parts out. But we have to use what I consider critical thinking skills by the information that we gain from uh, the issue that we see out there and make a diagnostic based on facts. The only way we can gain facts is to be able to analyze the system. So using test instruments will give us the facts so we can make a logical decision on the problem to be able to troubleshoot. So we look at this in test instruments. There's many, many different types of things we use. However, uh, there's things that we must have on our arsenal of tools to be able to make diagnostic uh, repairs on the system. We use hand tools to be able to uh, fix things, but we use test instruments to analyze problems. So the electrical meters, there are multiple, multiple different types of electrical meters we find. And electrical meters could be a uh, voltmeter or amp meter or ohm meter. Voltmeter, of course, reads the power or the force of the energy. Uh, the amp meter reads the flow or the speed or velocity of the electricity. And, of course, the ohm meters will read the resistance of a uh, electrical uh, circuit. So all those things will make uh, our job easier to understand how the system is operating electrically. So they make multi-testers that may have both volts, ohms, and resistance part of its meter. And more often, we use those uh, in the field. They make them digital these days, which make it very accurate and uh, very reliable because there's no moving parts. So digital meters is preferred these days compared to years ago when we had analog meters that had a needle that moved back and forth and can get out of calibration. We had to send them in at least once a year to be recalibrated uh, for uh, the amount of variances that it got off from. So, volt meters, multi-testers is most common, but you can buy separate type of meters that get more detail. For example, we know that a, uh, a multi-tester can check uh, for uh, amperage, but it's limited how it can read it. And so a lot of times we have a separate amp meter, a clamp-on type, that will actually clamp around the wire and it will uh, read the current through a wire more efficiently, faster, without disconnecting the wire. And it is safer that way. So amp meters is a, is a separate, or a clamp on amp meter is a separate type of meter we can have, even though we do have multi-testers that can read amperage also. So there are also another type of a special type of amp meter may find to read um, microamps. So we don't understand in the heating field that we have uh, a circuit to read for the flame sensor and it reads extremely small uh, amounts of uh, current. So this meter can be read down to a millionth of a amp, which is very critical to understand that we have to read this precisely to determine if the equipment is operating correctly, where a multi-tester probably cannot do that for us. So we uh, actually have another type of electrical meter. So there's many different types, ohm meters, uh, special type of meter you may find, of course, usually on a multi-tester, the, uh, it would read most of the time, about 90% of the time, the things we would need. But let's say we need to read something extremely high, like the resistance to ground to windings of a motor. In that case, we need to have uh, a meter that can read in the millionth of the uh, ohms, very high, like 10 million ohms or 50 million ohms, which is extremely high resistance and our, our multi-tester may not be able to do that for us. So we may have a special meter, uh, what we call Omega, and that Omega is designed to only read very high resistance. 
So many different types of uh, electrical meters, but we do use specific type meters to get more accurate readings so we'd be able to diagnose a system electrically. Airflow meters, another type of meters we will have and use, and they come in different varieties. Maybe we want to read velocity, and we can use a special, we call anometer. Anometer is read the velocity of airflow. So in this case, that anometer could be two different types. One could be a vane type that actually got a paddle that spins around by the air movement, and because of the revolutions of that paddle moving or the fan blade propeller, actually reading the, uh, the speed of the air. Now, other types will be using the uh, uh, manometer to read the pressure of the air, and that pressure is uh, reading very, very small amounts of uh, pressure. Other types, refrigeration gauges, manifolds that have to read pressures in the system. They make a special type of uh, analyst meter or system for reading uh, the products, the byproducts of flue gases, the byproducts coming from the flame. So we can be able to adjust the burners to make it more efficient. And this is a special device that is very expensive. You may not stock this yourself, but your company will have that that you can check out to be able to use uh, for checking like carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide or oxygen or excess air or the percentage or the temperature of the, uh, the, of the flu compared to the uh, room temperature and other many, many other like uh, oxides and things like that. So the last thing is well, maybe even fluid, like a, a refractometer to find out the percentage of uh, antifreeze that may be in water to determine if it's at the right level. So there's many different types of test equipment that we use on a regular basis that will make us a better technician and have any tools will actually do that for us. And without them, it will be impossible. We'll be guessing at a problem instead of diagnosing a problem.